So today we are on the Doc Noss Adventure number two. If you haven't seen number one, it's up here in the, the corner. Actually, this corner, sorry. Treasure map number three of Doc Noss. Here it is right here. There's three treasures somewhere in the hills. A picture of this on the screen right now so you can see it. I'm here with my father from uh, Treasure uh, History Channel, right? Lost Gold of the Aztecs. Yep, Lost Gold of the Aztecs. Feel free to go watch it. I believe you can stream it off of uh, History Channel. Yeah. Anyways, we are out here and we found maybe the first marker. You can't really tell, but I'll do some video and you guys could check it out and compare the both. Uh, and you guys let me know if you think it's the first marker in the comments below. Today we are kitted out Garrett uh, AT Gold and a Garrett Apex uh, metal detector. All right, so if, as you look at this map right here that we're, uh, we're looking for this Doc Noss treasure, you can see right here this rock that it calls out looks to me like it has layers and it's square in nature. So if you look at the rock that's right in front of us here, it's square in nature, but look at that. It's got the three layers just like it's called out right here on the map. Let us know in the comments if you think so. The map has uh, a dot in the rock, it says. I don't see one, but it's been uh, since 1949. We're gonna continue to the next area. Sometimes it gets that rock. What do you think, Tay? I don't know. See what we find. The vampire's out there. Oh, dang. So, he has a tree called out here. There's a tree over there. And look at those big rocks over there. That might be our square mine, our square rock that we see on the on the map here. So we are looking for this rock and a tree, and then the squiggly line is the wash. So here's the wash. Here's a tree. There, there's another tree we gotta check out, and then there's a tree and some big rocks up there. But this one looks very, very odd, so we're gonna check it out. I think it's the tree that's called out on the map. I mean, you can see clearly inside of that cave. This is definitely it, I can see it. The silo or the tower? Yeah, uh, like a water tank or something. That's up there. So we'll continue up the hill. Yeah, I see something on the edge. Oh yeah, right there's something right there. That's probably the tree. This is our big square rock right here. I think. Got all the markers correct. Now we just gotta figure out the lines to the treasure. So we'll go hiking up that way and check it out. Yeah. They got water. Yeah, yeah water. we got water too. It's definitely time period wise could be from the 40s, huh? Yeah, look, it's been uh, chopped. Chopped. Been here a long time. This definitely. There's some stack rocks over there that we could check out. This definitely is going to be 80 to 100 years old. Definitely. As slow as everything grows here in the, in the desert. The tree. So it could be. Could be that. We'll keep going. Okay. This is different. Super white white rock. There's another white rock right there. In the line. Maybe they go from one to one to one. There's a, another white rock right there. I bet you the path. All the okay. Answers. Yeah. Keep following this. You need some? Okay. Look at that view. If you're an overlander and like camping out in parking lots, make sure you smash that like button. So today we are in the Caballo Mountains. Your map number three. So we're gonna 
check out this location, see if we find anything. You never know, it's a .0001 chance we find something. But it's all for the adventure. So we're gonna continue this year, 2024, doing a lot more of the treasure hunting, combined with a lot of camping and overlanding. 2024 is gonna be awesome. And we wanna thank our sponsors, the New Mexico Expedition. And if you're looking for a discount with any of our sponsors, please email New Mexico Expedition and I'll get you that discount code. Uh, so stay tuned and we hope you like this video. Tell us a little bit about this area. This area is uh, rich with history from the conquistadors that used to travel up and down the uh, Camino Real. We were walking up the up the hill here, it's just loaded with quartz. So when you, where you find quartz, usually that's where the gold is trapped and it travels you know, with, with the gold as far as uh, how it collects in the mountains. But I remember there's uh, five cache sites up on this side of the, uh, the Caballos. The east side, there's supposed to be about two towards the southern end. And then of course there's two more over there towards the Doc Nas uh, site. We just came across this, uh, this site right here. As you can see, it's a test hole for a uh, gold mine. They worked this, you know, probably back in the, the 60s or so. Okay, guys, we are somewhere in the middle of this, the square rock and this cylinder right here. That cylinder is probably that old tank right there. You might I point out, Nick, if you look at the way that it shows on the map, the cylinder is running, you know, vertical. That one is vertical as well. Yeah, that, that is true. And there's nothing else. Uh, that's that's it. That is the marker. Continue on, and it looks right by there, there's some sort of treasure. So when we get over there, we'll look in that area, look for these three items right here, and do some metal detecting since we kind of found, uh, I guess, the tubes. this oh yeah straight down to straight hell. down right there yeah okay so there's a lot there was a lot of mining here huh right here you can see the quartz these are the veins of quartz they were they were uh, chasing now this quartz probably holds you know gold in it if you were to crush it up the old school way they used to use what's called an arrastra, which they would uh, set up a, a set of rocks and drag a large stone around with the mules, turn it into dust, and they, then they would pan it out or use mercury to separate the gold. Be able to uh, retain some of this material. Yeah, I see that. So we're next to the the cylinder. Pan over that way. See the cylinder next to my dad. This might be the adit right here. And this thing could be maybe that building or something. And it says treasure right next to it. And then there's a treasure in this area that we are standing on right now. Uh, so we are going to take our packs off and do a grid of metal detecting here. And we're gonna find out if there's anything right here. Okay guys, we are deploying the Garrett. We're gonna do a grid pattern. Right here. So we'll mark that and continue on. And we'll come back to it. guys we thought this was a windmill it could have been at one point but it's actually a mine careful Tay that thing 
Looks like it go to China. It's that far down. Actually, it might have been a windmill. Look, there is uh, the windmill right there. There's that. And for some reason, uh, they made it into a mine, which is kind of weird. Or they were digging down in the mine until they hit some water and they decided to pump it and use it for their mining operation. Oh, pumping it? Yeah, because yeah. this thing, it goes down. Interesting. A cave. In the hills somewhere. In the hills. So what, what would have been the blank yellow mine? The yellow painted mine. It's over there on that hill on that side. I think it was because it was yellow dirt. I mean, this building and this is exactly, and even the pipes on the ground is directly within this. I think right here, he says right outside on this side is the treasure, right? On this side of the building. Oh, there's a deer carcass in here. This is uh, some sort of, like there's a cot. This was somebody's uh, house. Pull up that map. Let's see. Hold on. There we go. We are like right here on the map. This treasure, I think, is that first um, mine shaft that you found, Dad. This, oh, this one could be this one that's right here. Mm -hmm. Obviously, right? this is our tank right there. Tank. This... Well, could this be even this tower? I guess not. Well, this, this box with the lines, I believe, is this building. Mm -hmm. The clincher is, I mean, we found this site, which there's, a, uh, there's an adit right here. And of course, this one right next to the building is this one. It's just simply marking uh, gold mines or where gold has been found. The clincher would be is if we go and follow this road up this way and we find another shaft at the at the uh, the curve on the road. If that is the case, then that's what this map confirms. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, a gold mine map. Map. Right. Yeah. Well, okay. And it and it would be valuable because uh, you know. There's still gold down there, but probably people aren't willing to go down there and work it anymore. That's true. That's very true. The building, you got the cylinder, you got the road right next to it. So if we can find this one right here, at the curve in the road, then that's exactly what it is. And we could debunk this number three map. How much you want to bet that this is it? Could be. I mean, you never know. The only way to know is to go down it. What's the danger like, actually, if you go down this puppy? Well, you got, of course, you know, debris falling on top of your head. Yeah, the old wood posts. This metal structure those. looks pretty legit to uh, climb looks, off of. It looks legit, but... Yes. And then, of course, we'd have to test it for, uh, for gas down there before we went in. Like methane? Gas, yeah, so we could repel down there. Help, though, that you can probably... But this. Do we still have a camera set up we could send down there? Not on us yeah, right now. The other shaft. <laughs> no gun. But this one, this might be that that map yeah. that you have with that shaft on it. Because yeah, this is straight down. It's at least the 90 feet that it called. I don't. I don't have it on. It's in my phone. Oh. But uh, I guarantee you that might be this shaft so the, the so those that map right there is to get you to the location then the other one is to get down to the location it would have made sense to chop up the pieces too right i mean if yeah. that was so valuable to him he might not necessarily I, maybe it's layers of, of information things. yeah if we come back up here i can bring that whole setup we did last time and drop our gopro down there with lights yeah it's recording right now. I'll cut it. Okay. What are we doing here, Nick? Well, there was an old deer carcass in that shed, and my dog Aspen loves deer poop, cow poop, anything. 
fish guts she rolled in it so oh. gloves water we're going to take her a nice little desert bath because i'm gagging can't uh. take it and you're gonna have to ride with come her in girl. the vehicle. Come here. Underneath her neck. Water. She don't like baths. She needs to go yeah. to the the lake, and you gotta I throw her. See the other bottle of water. Okay. We have water in our backpack. <laughs> you think? <I'm> <laughs> All right. Oh, right on you. Alright, Nick, how bad was that? One to ten. A ten. Uh, Eight. That was pretty bad. The road that's on the map to find the third site. And you're thinking it might be like we just curves. There should, should be, if, if we're true to what the map says, there should be another added or shaft or something. Let's see. Open the map up. So <clears throat> we're crossing the arroyo right now. See, there's a also oh, a little bit further down, <laughs> a little further that way. somewhere this way. Yeah. Since the road's washed out, we'll cross it and keep an eye out for some kind of hole. Yeah, if we're filled in, or if it was in the arroyo, we could have got washed away. Washed in. So we were up there. We did the loop on the old two track. So somewhere in here could be a, a mine. This looks like tailings right here. So that could be a shaft. It could be uh, filled in already by now. Well, it's so dense here, it could be right next to us. We wouldn't even see it. Yeah. Very true, yeah. I mean, there's like deep, deep places in the geography that have like the yucca plants in them. That's true too. Can we debunk this map? I think it's a, a map to uh, different gold mines. Different gold mines, yeah. I think so too. What do you think? I agree. So we'll uh, look at the other maps and then we can do a uh, kind of a review. Maybe that other shaft map is the big shaft over there on that uh, where the cylinder's at. And maybe all these maps lead you to these mines that were probably once profitable at one time and then. Uh, maybe over the years people found out and they were digging it because some of the stuff kind of looks new, right? And some of it looks old, so maybe they're already dug out. Maybe at one point there are small holes and now they're just just uh, all gold out, right? Because they dug it all out. Yeah, they could have followed the vein and it ran out and that's the end of it. Makes sense. We'll never really know. We'll never know. But we... Uh, we tracked history and uh, yeah. figured out what the map says, so that's pretty cool. So Cooked. we'll uh, walk back to the vehicle and go get a beer in uh, T or C, yeah? Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Very odd rock. And the reason why we're here is because the tip of the rock kind of looks like a beaver's head. And the... Uh, the conquistadors used to use a lot of monuments like that. So this could have been shaped, it could be natural, but it could have been shaped specifically for that. And a beaver would be, you know, they would have a, a, a dam site where they stored stuff. So this, this might be a storage spot. So we're gonna go in ahead and uh, metal detect this whole area. So you could see it kind of looks like some kind of animal and the conquistadors would have used animal signs. Also, it would be a face too, right? So it could be a marker where to go, yeah. like he's looking that way. Looking up towards the... Looking up side. somewhere up there. Yep. Yep. What are we doing, Dad? We're going to Willie and uh, Buster's stash spot. So it's also known as a smoke hole. They used to, back in the day, burn tires in here, thinking that uh, the smoke would lead them to a secondary entrance. 
So, it's right at the road here. Very famous spot. We're at William Buster's smoke hole, also known as Cable Canyon as well. You can see the cable right there. Supposedly, they found a whole bunch of gold stashed in here. And then uh, later on, they used to burn tires in there thinking there was a second entrance. So they would burn them, hopefully, hoping that the smoke would lead them to a second entrance. So I'll go in there and check it out for sure. That looks awesome. But this is very famous in the treasure world. Yes. This is the holy grail for the, uh, for the Caballo treasures. This is where a lot of stuff happened. So this is the hole? Yep. All right. <sighs> Pretty big, huh? Yeah, let's keep going. Oh, there's wood holding it up. <clears throat> Hold on, I'm could be an animal in here. Kind of get on your knees right here. Let's see. It's a wedge. Yeah, it's opened up pretty good. So they found a bunch of gold in here. This thing is pretty massive in here. It ends. That hurt. Yeah, I fell. Let's uh, let's move out. All right. Gotta crawl right here. I should have wore my cry precision pants with the knee pads. <laughs> stash spot right so allegedly um, they had found this place where Doc Noss had brought gold from Victoria's Peak he stashed it in here they happened to across it and found it, it was a young man who, who had located it um, he had let um, somebody know they got a hold of the kid the kid disappeared and they came supposedly and removed the gold from the hole but this was called or considered anyway the uh, stash hole well you got first look at the stash hole where they burned tires and they found a bunch of gold bars right yeah how cool is that we went in there checked it out you could see there's uh, newer stuff in there people are trying to see still to this day if there's any other openings you could tell in there yeah you could tell they're trying to drill in there making it bigger uh, to see but so that's where they found the gold so they put tires in there, lit them on fire, supposedly back in the day, thinking there was another entrance or another hole, to the, like a back door. And they were hoping that the smoke would lead them to, to find that extra en entrance. But uh, to my knowledge, nobody's ever found another entrance. That's crazy. Yeah. Go in there, it widens up, it's big. Yeah. It's pretty cool. This is a part of treasure hunting history right here. This is a very famous spot where something big happened how cool is that and you guys got a first look 
I went in there, risked my life for you guys. <laughs> Insight, which is kind of next to the smoke hole. And this right here uh, represents their old arsenic uh, pond that they used to use for leaching gold out of the, uh, the, the material that was mined out of the, uh, the, uh, the holes they had right there. This is a really interesting, mysterious spot located in the Caballos. There's gold laying around the, the, like, the tailings in the top that they had re retrieved from there. But the really interesting thing about this is, is as we walk down into this arroyo to the right, you're going to see a... Uh, like a safe built right into the side of the rock. That this soil is so coarse, uh -huh. I think that it seeps down real, you know, real down, I mean, real low into the ground. And uh, according to all the treasure lore, well, the majority of them anyway, every, every cave that there's ever been anything found in, there's always an underground river. So I attribute that to the, uh, the decomposed granite, how, you know, porous it is and lets the water just seep and, and go right down. Okay, through. so not water running above the ground necessarily, but. Yeah. I think there's underground rivers here. Where is it, babe? Oh yeah, check it out. Can you open it? Yeah. All right. Here, you want this off. Look at this. This is a safe in the rocks. What do you, this is crazy. This is where they locked it. Gold or dynamite? One of the two, huh? But that's the only thing it could have been to home. Hollow. But built well, huh? Yeah. It's out of place. No Very out of place. Look at this, how they did the rock. Let me get down. I'm gonna turn the camera off. Steep hill, huh? Rocky yeah. too. Yeah, Rocky. Loose rocks. We're almost there. Like, you see, oh, there's a safe. Let's keep going. Huh? Yeah. They post a video in my honor if I fell through the mine shaft. Okay, this is definitely a mining operation. I have a hoist, an entrance. No one's been in here for a while. All right guys, so we made it from down there where the safe is at and we came up here what what is this dad this building right here this is very interesting it's an old shaft site uh where they were mining and i believe they were mining i don't know if you guys can see this it looks like there's some pyrite on there oh yeah you could definitely see that yeah so they must have been you know when you find pyrite like that there's definitely gold mixed within it but um that's probably what they were working you know to see if they can get some gold out of there Andres, whoever uh, owns this need a needs to come up here and fix their building dangerous site uh, if anybody does visit this place please you know be vigilant be careful there's much more than just the, the the fall hazards the gas that might be down below i mean you got snakes you got you know tarantulas you got squirrels. and new mexico expedition is not responsible if you go in here and you get hurt or killed or anything like that so that's on you get back to trc and have a beer, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I think that cuts it for this video of finding a, 
uh, a bunch of treasure stuff, stories. Doc Noss Trail. Yep. Yeah. Doc Noss Trail. Yep. So it's off for the next uh, the next map, right? So right. we got done with number three. So we got we got six, I think, maps. So right. Right. Not when it gets too hot. Just just about like Aprilish. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. We'll go back down there and go to the bottom. Yeah. And I believe that that side is Father and Rose counting room. And there's there's several reasons which uh, I'll explain later why that site is so interesting because we've had uh, a couple of different unassociated people tell us about um, the, the same treasure story in the same canyon at uh, two very different locations only about a mile and a half, two miles away.